أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ديرز السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope all of you will be fine Dears, we will discuss now the time series analysis chapter number 16 of programmed statistics books. This is the second lecture of this chapter from question number 21 to question number 48. So come to the first question of this lecture, question number 21. A linear trend shows the business moment of a time series towards growth, this line, stagnations, and all the above. Option D is the correct option because a linear trend shows the business moment of a time series towards growth, towards this line, and also the stagnations mean Jamao okay so all of the three options are the correct options question number 22 cycles in a time series are regular in periodicity option B is amplitude option C is both A and B option D is neither A nor B so option D is the correct option because cycles in a time series are regular and not in periodicities is not in amplitude. Okay. Question number 23. The factors responsible for the occurrence of business cycles are likes and dislikes of people, social customs, scientific and technological developments and option D is all the above so option D is the correct option okay because the factors responsible for the occurrence of business cycles are likes and dislikes of people also this is a factor responsible social customs is also a factor responsible for that and scientific and technological developments are also a uh, factor for the responsibilities okay question number 24 an additive model of a time series with the components t s c and i is it's a secular trend s is seasonal variation c is cyclic variation and d a i is the irregular variations okay so uh, the additive model is a option number y t plus s plus c plus i this is the additive model question number 25 a multiplicative model of a time series with components t s c and i is t multiplied by s by c by 1 option a is the correct option okay sorry not just only option a because option b is also and option c is also the correct options so all of the above any option d is the correct option because if you change y uh, uh, sorry if you divide this equation by t on both sides and then divide by y and take reciprocal then you will get this one okay and again if you divide both sides and C multiplied by I, then you will get this one. So all the above are the correct options. Question number 26. A mixed model of a time series with components T, S, C and I is a mixed, uh, sorry, a mixed model. A mixed model is the option B. That is T plus S multiplied by C plus I. Okay. This is mixed model because here addition, additive model and also the multiplicative model are used. And option A, you can you, uh, see that Y divided by S multiplied by C multiplied by T. Here just the multiplication or multiplicative model is used but the additive model is not used. And this one also the multiplicative model is not available. And option D is none of the above. So in this 
option option number b you have multiplicative and additive model are both used so this one is the mixed model question number 27 most frequently used mathematical model of a time series is the most frequently used is multiplicative model and multiplicative model is in option b so this is the correct option question number 28 a method full of subjectivity to find out the trend line is semi average method mowing average method freehand method and all the above option c is the correct option freehand method a method full of subjectivity to find out the trend line is freehand method okay question number 29 semi average method of finding trend is appropriate if the data are available for a long period short period long and short period and none of the above so option a is the correct option that is long period semi average method of finding trend appropriate if the data are available in long period okay question number 30 a group of moving average consists of five area years period three years period a period which forms a cycle option c is the correct option okay Achha. question number 31 moving average method of fitting trend in a time series data removes the effect of long term moments short term moments cyclic variations and none of the above so question, option number b is the correct option short term moment moving average method of fitting a trend in a time series data removes the effect of short term moments question number 32 moving average method of ascertaining trend is not suitable for finding trend values and for projections option c is both a and b option d is neither a nor b option b is the correct option moving average method of ascertaining trend is not suitable for projections question number 33 moving average method suffers from the loss of information yes it's correct the element of subjectivity option c is the decision about the number of years in groups and option d is all the above so this is the correct option option d because moving average method also suffers from loss of information from element of subjectivity and the decision about the number of years in groups question number 34 least square method of fitting a trend is most exact least exact full of subjectivity mathematically unsound option a is the correct option least square method of fitting a trend is most exact okay question number 35 least square estimates of a parameter of a trend line have minimum variance are unbiased can exactly be obtained and option d is all the above so this one is the correct because in least square estimate we have the trend line for a parameter parameter have minimum variance and also the parameter will be unbiased and can exactly be obtained okay question number 36 if the origin in a trend equation is shifted forward by three years x in the equation y is equal to a plus bx will be replaced by will be replaced by x plus 3 because you shifted the origin three years ago okay shift it forward question number 37 if the origin in the trend equation y is equal to a plus bx is shifted backward by two years the variable x in the trend equation will be replaced by x minus 2 if you shifted backward then will it become x minus 2 okay question number 38 
if the trend line with 1975 is origin is y is equal to 20.6 plus 1.68x the trend line with 1971 is origin is you know that we have the origin is 1975 but if you shift it backward to 1971 then which one is the correct option then we have the correct option is b that is y is equal to 13.88 plus 1.68 into x but how it became so come to solution then you will understand we have given that y is equal to 20.6 plus 1.68x is origin is 1975 if we take 1971 as origin then 1975 minus 1971 is equal to 4 years there is 4 years difference so now y is equal to 20.6 plus 1.68 and x minus 4 because we shifted the origin 4 years backward okay so it will become x minus 4 if you multiply 1.68 with x minus 4 then you will get 1.68 x minus 6.72 if you multiply this one with 4 now 20.6 minus 6.72 it will become 13.88 plus 1.68 x it will become okay so this will be the correct option and we have this option is in option B so this is the correct option question number 39 given the trend equation y is equal to 118.5 plus 2.2 x plus 1.4 x square with origin 1980 the trend equation with origin 1981 is we shifted forward origin from 1980 to 1981 that is one year okay which one is the correct option the correct option is option number c how so come to the solution question number 39 we have y is equal to 118.5 plus 2.2 x plus 1.4 x square this is the square 1980 is origin if you take 1981 as origin then 1981 minus 1980 is equal to 1 years there is 1 year difference so y is equal to 118.5 plus 2.2 into x plus 1 because we shifted backward sorry forward okay so you we will uh, add 1 year with x and 2 plus 1.4 into x minus x plus 1 whole square here we have x square so you will put x plus 1 whole square okay now it will become it's 118.5 uh, and 2.2 uh, if you multiply with this so 2.2 x plus if you multiply 2.2 with 1 you will get 2.2 as 1.2 and this one is the a plus b whole square formula if you um, open it it will become x square plus 1 square plus 2 x so now multiply 1.4 with this one and also add 2.2 with 118.5 so you will get x so b is 120.7 plus 2.2 x this one plus 1.4 x square if you multiply this with this one and 1.4 if you multiply it with 1 square and if you multiply 154 with 2 x you will get 2.8 x okay now add this term you will get 122.1 plus 5x plus 1.4x square so the correct option is option number c it is the correct option question number 40 given the annual trend with 1981 is origin and x unit is equal to one year and y is equal to annual demand is y is equal to 148.8 plus 7.2x the monthly trend equation so now they want the monthly trend equation so we know that we have 12 months in one year we have y is equal to 12.4 sorry we have the correct option is option number a that is y is equal to 12.4 plus 0.05x but how it came so come to the solution Question number 40, we have y is equal to 148.8 plus 7.2x. Monthly trend is as if y is equal to a plus bx, then a will be divided by 12 and b will be divided by 144 because we have 
12 months and one year and also we will divide by 12 so in uh, the term b we multiply 12 by 12 okay so y is equal to 148.8 .8 by 12 plus 7.2 divided by 144 into x so it will become 12.4 plus 0.05 x so this is the correct option now come to the question number 41 for the equation given in question number 40 the quarterly ten we know that in quarterly we have four uh, quarter in one year so we will divide uh, the one year in four um, by four so we will get uh, this option um, we have the solution of question number 41 is not available so i will uh, solve it here we have the correct option is first come to the equation equation is this one 148.8 plus 7.2 correct option is option B we know that if you want to divide uh, uh, if you want to find the quarterly trend uh, so you will be divide this by 4 uh, and uh, sorry this not this one 148.8 okay and uh, also 7.2 x will be divided by 4 multiplied by 12 which is 48 okay 4 12 is equal to 48 so it will be divided by 48 and 148.8 will be divided by 4 so you will be get if you 148.8 divided by 4 you will get 12.4 and 7.2x if you divide by 48 you will get 1.8x so this is the correct option okay question number 42 the equation y is equal to alpha beta power x represents compact curve exponential curve logarithmic curve or none of the above so it represents exponential curve option b is the correct option question number 43 the equation y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square plus dx cube represents hyperbola, cardioid, cubic parabola and none of the above. So it is represent high cubic parabola option c is correct option. Question number 44. The equation y is equal to alpha beta power gamma power x tends for compact curve. Option a is the correct option. Question number 48, 45. Simple average method is used to calculate trend values, cyclic variations, seasonal indices and none of the above. Correct option is option C that is seasonal indices. Simple average method is used for the seasonal indices. Question number 46. In case of multiplicative model, the sum of seasonal indices is 100 times the number of seasons option b is 0 option c is 100 and option d is any of the above correct option is a that is 100 times the number of seasons okay question number 47 simple average method for finding out seasonal indices is good when the time series is free from trend when the time series has no cyclic effect when the time series has no trend and cyclic variations when the time series has all the components of the time series present option number c is the correct option that is the time series has no trend and cyclic variation question number 48 simple average method for seasonal indices of a time series is applicable in case of multiplicative model only additive model only multiplicative as well as additive model and none of the above option c is the correct option okay dears this is enough for today inshallah we will meet in the next lecture again uh, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh